I had my endoscopic, what called call uh, upper endoscopy and also colonoscopy in, uh, in 2015. So in August that same year, when I had my choking problem, I mean, especially when I had breakfast, I eat bread or something, I eat quick, I'm a fast eater, so I eat quick and then if I take some, take uh, what called concentrated fruit juices, I couldn't swallow and I had to throw out because I couldn't breathe it. It happened to me once in, uh, I think, early September. And it happened now and then once a month or twice a month. And there were times I can take water to swallow it down. Or there were times that I have to throw out. Then, 8th of February 2016, and I was driving and I took the uh, multivitamin pills, which is a quite a big one, Centrum. And I got choked. And this time, the water doesn't help. I couldn't throw it out because it's hard, so I got stuck in my esophagus. So I went to the hospital to check up, and then the, in the afternoon, they did the endoscopy, and then they found out that they suspect of not normal uh, ulcer. So they sent for a biopsy, and the result came back is suspicious of the uh, esophageal cancer. The lesion is quite deep, but the GI wanted to make sure what stage I my, my staging, so he sent to another GI to do the EUS endoscopic with the with the uh, ultrasound to make sure how the lesion is going into which layer, and also they confirmed that it's uh, is the uh, uh, casi, uh, this is the cancer cell already. So I came back and then the surgeon said, uh, sorry, the GI told me to remove it by surgically remove it. So I planned to remove it, but I found out that uh, other hospitals, they can do only open cut surgeries, which is uh, quite painful and also long time for recovery. So I was searching for the, uh, a surgeon who can perform with the MIS minimal invasive uh, surgery. So I came here and I met Dr. Bitti, uh, uh, Bitulak. And then she said, yes, I have to remove it by uh, surgically remove it. So she recommended me to Dr. Chin Niem. And then so I went to see him. He said, yes, he ca it can be done. He said he has done several open cut uh, surgery for the esophageal cancer, but not with the uh, uh, laparoscopic. So I said, okay, I go ahead. And then we schedule on the 6th of March and we had an operation and I, it went on very well. So now, if it, now I'm 17, so I'm just charging from the hospital. So I'm very pleased with the results and all the, uh, what called the services that were right here. And then the, uh, the operation was I think very successful, I think. It's painful. But I think uh, it recovered quite fast, and I, I'm, I'm surprised in two, three days I'm walking, and then, and then uh, I start eating, and the, the what called the operation, the, the session of the uh, stomach and the uh, esoph uh, esophagus is very well. I don't feel pain inside, actually. Inside is quite uh, good, and I can eat well. I have no pain or choking or vomiting after the surgery. So I think it's a very good, I would say very good results. Dr. Peter Luck, she's a very passionate person. She cares for the, for the patients and she explain, takes her time, explain in detail how are the things, how things are done. And she spent a lot of time, no matter how she's busy, she would come and sit down and spend time with me and really She's a very, uh, what call a like, loving and caring person. She do not as a job. She do, she does as the, you know, taking care of people. And Dr. Chen Miang also very uh, knowledgeable.
person. He has his ex experiences are remarkable. He knows many things, and then he and uh, he also care of the patients, you know, really wholeheartedly. And he took all his time, ten hours, staying with me and fixing me, make sure that I'm hundred percent, you know, recover. So I think. Of course, uh, my staging is now not T1, now T2B, so it's a bit changed, but I think he removed them all, so I am very, uh, I'm very confident that it will never come back to me again because of him, because he removed all the bad. I told him that, doctor, you, you caught all the bad guys already, so I'm fine now. So he's, uh, he's really, I, I, they don't have time for themselves even. They spent a lot of time for us to make sure that of our well-being, you know, that's my experience with them, okay? I never heard about esophageal cancer, so I, I ignore it because it's not painful. You don't feel anything. Sometimes, yes, you may have a, a heartburn, like a reflux, you know, but it's like normal, but, and you can eat well for a few years. And you didn't know that you have cancer in, in you, you know. So I would, like everyone, <laughs> should study about what are the other cancers that uh, we, we have to be careful. And I think check, check up regularly, ask from the uh, professional advice rather than friends and, you know, or some people who call themselves doctors, you know. Uh, which they are not, so I think we should find a proper professional uh, medical doctor's uh, advice and do regular checkup, I think. Yeah.